Today, we are going to do our introduction to Arduinos. Um, the very first thing we are going to do is we are going to go to Tinkercad.com and you are going to log in with the same information you use to log into Fusion 360. So once you log in, it should look like this. We're going to go to circuits. We're going to create a new circuit. When this loads, we are going to look through here for the Arduino. It looks like this. And we're just going to drag it out to here. So this is our Arduino. An Arduino is like a small computer um, that allows us to control electricity. So unlike a battery, which is always on as long as you connect to positive and negative, an Arduino allows us to turn on and off things without disconnecting parts. Um, so if you look right here, we have our Arduino. Um, just to start us off, I'm going to pull in an LED and a resistor. And I'm going to connect from 13 to the resistor, from the resistor to the anode, the positive side of the LED, and from the cathode to GND. So GND will serve as our negative side of the battery, and 13 will sometimes be positive. And I'll explain what I mean by sometimes positive in a minute. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to hit Start Simulation. And you'll see this light slowly blink. Now, why is this light blinking? Well, let's hit Stop Simulation. I'm going to click this Code button. And we'll open up the code. And you'll see in here a whole bunch of blocks. And you'll see this code that says Set Built-in LED to High. Wait one second. Set Built-in LED to Low. Wait one second. So high is Arduino speak for on. It sets the output voltage to five volts or positive. Low is Arduino speak for off. It sets the output voltage to zero. So when it's high, the light is on. When it's low, the light is off. And what this code is doing right now is it sets the LED to high, it turns it on, it waits one second, so it leaves it on for one second. It sets it to low, turns it off, and it waits one second again. So it'll be off for one second, and then it goes back to the top and sets it to high again. So just over and over, we go on, pause, off, pause. Um, and that will allow us to turn this light on. And so if we look back over here, we can click code to minimize this at any time. We have our circuit that goes on and off. Now, if we want to delete any of these, we can just hit the trash button. Um, so we're actually going to look at this really quickly. Um, I think at this point, you should have enough information to answer the questions on the first page. So I want to stop and do that. And then we're going to go to the second page. And it's just going to ask you to label all these parts. So if you look here, each of these is a pin which is a place we can connect to, to do different things. The 0 through 13 are what we call digital pins, and they are used to turn on and off things like LEDs, and they can only turn on and off. A0 through A5 are called analog pins, and we'll get into more of what they can do, but they can also turn things on and off. Um, over here we have more ground connections, so the negative side of our battery. We've got a 5V and a 3.3V. So the 3.3V is essentially the positive side of those little batteries we've been using uh, and can power about one LED. The 5V is just a stronger power source. So it can power like two LEDs. Um, and the rest of them we're not really going to worry about. Um, and that should give you enough information that you can fill out that diagram. So I just might label, you know, where the pins are, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13. Um, on that diagram I gave you. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how to program these ourselves. So we're actually going to reconnect this and I'm going to pick pin 8 and I'm going to go to the resistor, to the anode, from the cathode to ground and if I hit start simulation now it doesn't blink because my code isn't set up to use pin 8, it's set up to use pin 13. So when I open the code I'm actually going to drag all this into the trash um, and I'm going to drag out this whoops, set pin 0 to high. And I'm going to change this to my current pin, which is 8. And now I'm going to hit Start Simulation. And you'll see that the light is just on, because all I've done is turn it on. So now I hit Stop Simulation. 
Um, and I'm gonna drag in set pin to high. I'm gonna change this to eight. I'm gonna change this to low. And I'll hit start simulation again. And now you see it's like kind of half on. And the reason for this is it sets it to high, it turns it on, and then it immediately turns it off again. So it's just like flickering on and off as fast as it can go. And the way we'll fix that is we're gonna get this weight block and we're gonna drag this in and we'll say wait one second. And now it's always on because we turn it on, we wait a second, we turn it off and then immediately turn it on again. So you need a second weight block at the bottom. And now if we hit start simulation, we should get that same on off behavior that we got when we had it connected to 13. So now what we can do is we can take a second to play around with how fast this is. So we could change this to milliseconds and maybe try like 100 milliseconds for both of these. And now you see it's blinking much, much faster. What we are gonna do now is I want you to stop and I want you to draw the circuit diagram for oops, this circuit. And I don't want you to use what you see here. I want you to use the circuit diagram symbol. So it should be from eight, a, a, like a line to a resistor symbol, to a line to the LED triangle, back to ground. And we should draw that. The next thing I want you to do is we are actually going to do, oops, that should go there. We're gonna add several more lights. So I want you to have at least four lights. I want you to pick four pins and I want you to connect all of these. So it should look a little something like this. Um, we should go from seven to the resistor to that to ground. We should go from four to the resistor to that to ground. And I want you to do one more for this one. And then when we go into the code, I want you to try to get all of them to blink on and off at once. And so the way we might do this is right now we blink on eight. Um, so we can just get another one of these blocks, drag it in, and we're gonna do seven as well. So it should eight and seven should go on. And now if I start the simulation, you should see that eight is blinking, but seven is always on. And that's because I never turn seven off down here. So I'm gonna drag another one of these blocks in, set pin seven to low. And now they're both blinking together. And I'm actually gonna make this more like 500 so that I can actually see it. Great, and they're blinking together. And we can just keep adding these for our four lights. When you've finished with these, your next challenge is gonna get them all blinking on and off in order. So what this is gonna look like is you're gonna set eight to high. You're gonna wait one second. Then you're gonna set seven to high. Then you're gonna wait one second. And then you would do the other two lights. So they should all go on and then they'll all go off. And that'll be, so then we're gonna say, wait a second, we're gonna set eight to low. We're gonna wait a second. Oops, not that one. We're gonna set seven to low. And then we're gonna wait one more second. And that'll turn that one on, that one on, that one off, that one off. Beautiful. So gonna, why don't you take a minute and so you can finish this out and you'll need to copy that code down in your packet as well. When you're done with this part, what I want you to do is I want you to try the RGB LED. So that is this one. Um, I'm just gonna delete these other parts. So right here, actually, we're not gonna use the RGB LED. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try to create our own pattern with at least 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lights. It's gonna be nuts. So I'm just gonna add a resistor for each of these lights. Um, I'm gonna go from two to here to ground. I'm gonna go from three to here to here to ground. I'm gonna go from four to here to here to ground. And so I'm just right now connecting all of these kind of sequentially. So each of these LEDs goes back to ground. And this is a great way to get really familiar with the basics of high, low, and how Arduino works. And I'm just gonna go to this ground because that one got a little crowded. Great, and if I start the simulation, it still does the eight and seven one I did, but not all of them. So I'm gonna open back up the code. I'm just gonna throw that in the trash. I'm gonna go to output and I'm gonna drag in, I think I need seven of these blocks just to make sure that I got them all connected correctly. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this will be, oops, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And if I start the simulation, what I would expect is all these lights to go on. Beautiful, they all go on. So I wrote that, right? If I open back up the code, I can add a weight block, and then I can just do this all again to turn them all off. And once you've done this part, I just want you to play around with trying to make a cool pattern. And when you found a really cool pattern that you like, you should write the code down in your packet. And so all these will need to be on low, 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 low to turn all those back off. And we'll need a weight block at the end to make sure we don't just flash on and off. And then we'll go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, close the code, start the simulation, and they're all blinking on and off. Beautiful. If you get this far and you have a pattern you like and you write down that pattern and you're just bored, uh, what you can do is then you can play with the RGB LED um, such that all of these are connected. This has been our introduction to Arduinos. I hope it was great.